The views and opinions expressed in the following program are those of the hosts and guests and not necessarily those of the staff and management of WWDB-TV. She has been waiting months, <laughs> at least one month, to be able to do that. And at I least. know that when she's watching at home, she does it at home alone. I do. <laughs> in the dark. Alone, yeah. As she's watching us on her iPad. <laughs> or her yeah, phone. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So we, I have to tell you, we were going to talk about butt sex this week, but we have to postpone it. We do. Because there are some issues along the lines of dealing with butt sex that we need to get under wraps or wrap or right. take medicine for. <laughs> <laughs> but we will have plenty of butt sex discussion next week or butt stuff. Butt yes. stuff? Why won't they let stuff. me go? Yeah. Not let just butt sex, go. just butt stuff? Butt stuff, but it, it's really about butt sex, but, you know. <laughs> Dora and I won't be here next week. <laughs> Why not? I'm an exit only girl. What, why, why won't you be here next week? Just because you're an exit only girl doesn't mean you can't like. Because I'd probably be every shade of your shirt talking about it. Here's here's what it is. Let me tell you where um, where this kind of came about. Um, but sex. Yeah, you know, we we joke about it, and you know we kind of talk about it, and we had um, one of the ladies on from Curve. Who said, when you guys come on, when you guys talk about butt sex, I want to be there. <laughs> and I realized, you know what, we haven't, we talk about it, but we haven't dedicated really a whole show to it. And I think it's important because some people want to try but might have questions or might not know where to go. And I'm just going to really quick, and I'll reiterate it next week, but to use myself as an example, um, you know, a long, long time ago, I had a really horrible experience. So the next time I wanted to be, you know, more educated, but I was literally there on my computer, like going incognito, going like, what do I need to know about butt <laughs> sex? What do I need to know about taking it in the ass? Like I had to Google these things and I thought I read things that I never knew. I absolutely never knew. I just assumed like you stick it in and that's that. And then the, yeah. You know, there's just, <laughs> I <laughs> told you I had a bad steps. experience before, so yeah. I always kind of shied away from it. Um, but there's, you know, there's a lot more that I think it's really important to share because I think people might have questions and they don't necessarily want to have to go incognito on their phone while they're, <laughs> while they're Googling, like, what or, do I do uh, about this? I would like you all to know that I have asshole. never, I have never gone incognito to search for anything, anything. ever yeah. in my life. Really? Yeah, me either. Google knows all my dirty fucking secrets. Well, even if you go incognito, like Google still knows. Um, no matter what, like Google still knows. You got an ad. Will for Will Astro Facebook Blind? have a Will Facebook have a uh, side ad for butt plugs coming up? Anytime Basically, soon? Probably, and the, yeah. the answer to that is absolutely. Oh yeah, yes. I'm gonna open up my Wish app and it's mm -hmm. gonna be like, look at these 37 different sized butt plugs just yeah. for you. Yeah, that's what happens. Or if I if I'm like commenting on somebody's conversation, mm -hmm. and yeah. the next thing I know, like bam like what is that mouth exercise thing yes. to mm -hmm. like stretch your mouth to give better blowjobs <laughs> and the next thing i know bam it's there and i'm like i don't need that i'm yeah. good i got it i got it mm -hmm. <laughs> jasmine says google knows all her bs too hell yeah <laughs> all right so what do we what do we want to talk about since we are not discussing butt stuff um well we can take a moment Today is National Remembrance yes. Day. Yes. Um, if you have not taken a few minutes to reflect and ponder and wonder about um, the world that we live in today, if you've ever wanted to know what kind of mentality led up to a group of people deciding that they were just going to, that they hated another group of people so generically and so terribly that they would 
fly airplanes full of them into buildings full of them. Take a look at the current administration. That is how that mentality gets started. That kind of blind, uneducated hate is how this kind of shit happens. You hate someone so much because their ideal is so different from yours. You don't ever take a moment to think, I don't have to have the same ideal as me. They don't have to have the same ideal as me. Nobody has to have the same ideal as me. I just have to live my life to the best of my abilities and decide not to hate other people. Choosing to hate is a choice. Honestly, your default setting should be IDF. I don't give a fuck. Just a straight mentality of nah. The only argument I have against the mentality of IDGAF is I've seen babies, and babies love everything. Mm -hmm. Babies have no prejudices. Babies have no, they see no color. They see no gender. Babies just want to love everything. Mm -hmm. Even things that might hurt them. They don't care. It's like puppies, too. Yeah. They don't give a fuck. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's not that they don't give a fuck, but their default is love. Yeah. yeah. Their, default their default is affection. Is love. And um, I'm not saying you have to love other people, because I certainly have a lot of people I do not love. As you grow older, you get smarter, definitely. You know, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, but that also doesn't mean that you have to be vehemently against something. Like, if it doesn't affect you, listen, I don't care if you don't want gay people to get married. Is our, our Adam and Steve getting married really going to affect your life in any way? No? IDGAF. That should be your mentality. Well, I don't give a fuck. It's not going to affect me. What does it matter? If a woman decides to go and get an abortion because she can't take care of the baby, she's not mentally responsible or emotionally responsible, or because she got raped and doesn't want to carry the baby to term, is it going to affect you? No? I'd give a fuck. I'd gaff. But to get back to the original point, let's take a moment to remember. Yes. <laughs> Do you remember what you were doing? I was packing for a camping trip when I watched the second building fall on the news. Do you remember, Toxie? Yeah, I was heading into work. How about you, Fernie? Yeah. I was uh, corralling children, and I was getting ready to take it off like Good Morning America and put it back on Nickelodeon. And then I went, oh, wait, did that? Was your whole day taken up by the events unfolding on television? <clears throat> It did, and then I had little ones going, Aunt Perny, Aunt Perny. And so I had to, as much as one eye is on the TV, on mute, you know, because I don't want the little ones. And also what's so nice is they were so young mm -hmm. that I could corral them, feed them, play with them, all the while looking at the TV and bawling. One of the little ones caught me. I was in the bathroom. It just was so devastating. And what's wrong, Aunt Perny? I'm like, do you know I hit my toe again? And Perny, you know you're not supposed to kick your walker or, you know, whatever. I was sleeping, so, and yeah. William Phillips from our chat uh, called me because we used to work together. Yeah. Woke me up and in time to watch the second plane go yeah. in. So. My, was hard to watch. My best friend, friend from high school and I were living together um, at my parents' house. Um, <clears throat> I was less than two years out of the Army. I had just lost my job. I had been downsized in 2001. And... So we were just going to pack up and go for a camping trip. It was a Tuesday. But we were still packing to go on a camping trip because fuck it. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, best time to go camping. You're not going to be messing around with other people. My mom was up because she had just gotten home from work and was watching the news. And we were just watching it and passing as we're loading stuff into the car from, you know, out of the house and into the car. And we stood and watched that second tower fall. And I'll, I'll never forget, without even knowing what else was going on, why it was happening, mm. My mom turned and looked at us and said, just get out. Take everything you have left to pack, pack it, and get the hell out of the city. Wow. And we packed up and we got the fuck out of the city. And we spent the next two days <clears throat> in the mountains. We damn near killed the battery on the car. We experienced all of this through the radio news. Mm -hmm. And it was surreal. Surreal. That's to a great be word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. In a situation where I was fairly certain I was safe. But there was still this idea that they had <clears throat> crashed a plane in the Pentagon. 
they had crashed two planes into the towers and then a fourth plane went down in Pennsylvania and at the time when they first reported it I mean we didn't know what had happened until like two days yeah, later you, get through on the lines. Yes. you couldn't get a hold of anybody I had friends living in New York at the time I um I lost a friend at the Pentagon who was a guard there like it was insane and you didn't know we didn't know what was happening for at least a day or two days like there were so many wild accusations going around and then we finally found out what it was it was because people hated us for no other reason than we were Americans no other reason none I worked for a travel insurance company oh, at Lord. the time and I was a trainer and supervisor in the call center and everyone wanted to cancel their trip immediately mm -hmm. and so I had to go and um, we it wasn't covered because it was a terrorist incident so I had to train the department on how to handle the calls from the very upset very irate individuals because they're afraid to travel and it's not something that insurance covers like insurance has exclusions terrorist <coughs> incident is one of them wow being yeah I, I know <coughs> being afraid because there's been a terrorist incident like again that doesn't that doesn't cover it like there's specific listed reasons that it does so um i had to spend that day like trying to keep up on the news um, but also advise everyone how what you know to say and escalated calls came to you know myself as well as other supervisors um, but i literally had people like i'm still even as i'm sitting here i'm envisioning it like just getting up bawling um, from their cubicles and, and running um, because they were just so upset and it, it literally was call after call after call. Um, you know, people are like, my family was traveling, I don't know what's going on. And so um, it just wasn't obviously, you know, we were nestled nice in San Diego and we, we weren't um, affected in any way. But what? We have a. I'm. What I, about it? I shared it. Let's. Sh oh. Okay, oh. so. Oh, you've got to be more clear. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? We're supposed to be a well oiled machine when we don't have to be clear. <laughs> <laughs> I can just point to something and you know. Yes, it's All a right. phone. So, I anyway, see your phone. I guess time or whatever. So, yeah. anyway, bottom line, it, it, was, <coughs> it was very uh, challenging. So, that's that. That's why I did it that sly because she was talking and I didn't want to interrupt her. <laughs> but this still doesn't mean anything to us. There are two. Yeah. Do you want us to say and I'm the like, stories? But I remembered to share this time. What did I do now? <laughs> uh, William says he was working at 7-Eleven in the middle of an AM copy rush when it happened. This one gets me. He was yeah. in the uh, Vendetta was in the fifth grade, and one of the cafeterias worked in, workers barged in and said, turn on the news. And the fifth graders watched as the second plane hit live. So number one, that just tells me that uh, Tim is really young. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He turned 21 while watching this show. Oh my yes. goodness. <laughs> yeah. Because I was like a full-blown adult with my own, you know, my own house and all of that. I was married. No, no. <laughs> all of that. He was um, barely legal enough to watch this show when he first started watching fifth it. Fifth grade. My goodness. But <clears throat> it's those things, uh, especially when it happens when you're in school, those kind of always stick with you. Yeah, we, I watched Challenger blow up live so on I TV. Did, yeah. So, well, it, I think it, that was I like it wasn't it was like ma because it was a teacher right. on the uh, on the shuttle. Wasn't yeah, it like Sally, mandatory yeah, that all the Sally schools were like, watching all it? Watching all it. All the schools too. were watching yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. we're sitting there watching grade. it, and I remember that too. I was like, "What just happened?" Like all of us <laughs> are just like looking at each other, like, "What happened?" And we, at first, it didn't catch us, but the teacher that was showing it turned the news off immediately. We didn't really know what had happened. Yeah. We weren't able to process it really until we got home. Yeah, as opposed to the <clears throat> dentist teacher who turned it on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mary was a school teacher, and we were in her room getting ready to head out the door. And I said, oh, we're going to miss it with the school. And then as I'm turning off the TV, I went, wait, I don't think it's supposed to do. And I realized, and I looked at Mary, and Mary looked at me, and we're like, oh, my God. We couldn't believe it. Yeah. Uh, Samantha w also watched it live in class. Oh, wow. you young! Guys. How old were you? Yeah. What grade were you in, Samantha? Because she's also very young. She's so. also very young. And I'm getting married soon. Sixth or seventh grade for her. I know. I'm so excited. Congratulations! Excited for you to get married, baby. <laughs> um, it was, 
it was surreal. And I didn't even know I had lost anyone personally for a couple of weeks because there was just so much chaos and everything. And there was just information just wasn't flowing the way it should be. And <clears throat> yeah, so it, it was just crazy. It was. It was absolutely insane. Same with me in 89 with October 17th when we had the earthquake in the Bay. October 1 here in Las Vegas yes. is coming up. Now, by October yes. 17th, I was... What year? In 1989. Okay, never mind. I was <laughs> in Vegas when there was an earthquake somewhere, and it hit Vegas, that but not horrible. It yeah. had to be in the 90s. I was here for a Backstreet Boys concert. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, that could have been last was, week, too. Yes, was, so you know. That's true. I wasn't living here yet, but yeah. it was my first experience, and I won't go into it now, but yeah. let's just say like it scared the fucking shit out of me. Yeah. And my ex-husband grew up in California, so he was, like, just sitting on the bed in the hotel, like, laughing. Like, he thought it's hysterical. And I'm grabbing in the doorway, like, <laughs> screaming, get in the doorway or under a desk. <laughs> like, uh, Do you, uh, you guys, you might remember, I don't know if you've been here this long, but when PepCon exploded out in uh, Henderson? <clears throat> PepCon was the year before I moved out here. So when so. Pep, I had just finished having sex when PepCon exploded. <laughs> you were like, wow, that was a good That's orgasm. exactly what we did. That's so funny. <clears throat> it was very funny. <laughs> like you squirt that hard. <laughs> and it well, we were, we were done. Within the we were done and laying back and just, you know, next to each other. And, just uh, boom. <laughs> and then the boom happened yeah. in the uh, house. Rattled. I mean, there's nothing like after that, you know, post-sex bliss. Then <laughs> so I wasn't, I wasn't here, but I had another friend who lived actually nearby. Like the, I think their windows got blown out or whatever, but <clears throat> It was not the marshmallow factory itself that blew up. It was something next to it. A but marshmallow it, factory? That was what Pepcon was. And But when Pepcon caught fire, it roasted all the marshmallows. And I guess it smelled like roasted marshmallows in Henderson for like so, days. Oh, my God. I would love that. <laughs> it, like, was, it was tragic, a chemical but, explosion. But That's I would drive was, around. Yeah. Have you guys ever been in Northeast Vegas? There's like a place that makes like ramen type stuff. They make flavor packets. And, yeah, it smells like ass. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you <laughs> it drive smells like through moldy there, it's like, peas. Yeah. <laughs> it's so yeah. gross. And then if you go further down the road, you hit the pig farm. So you go from moldy no. peas to pig shit. It's I lived, wonderful. I, when I first moved to Vegas, um, we lived by the pig farm. Brand new houses they put there. Like here was my house, here was the pig farm. Like I could, like peacocks and pigs would go down my street. <laughs> And um, the realtor told us, "Don't." It smelled that day, and she's like, "Don't worry, it doesn't normally smell. It just <laughs> smells because there was rain." And it she smelled lied. so she fucking lied. bad that for my daughter's second birthday party, they couldn't go out in the jumpy because oh. it just smelled so bad. Like everybody was just so disgusted. <laughs> That's it. Pig poop. Yeah, Welcome to Vegas. It smells like moldy peas, pig shit, and roasted toasted marshmallows. And if you go into any of the older casinos, it smells like cigarettes and stale alcohol. Yeah. And butt sex. And lost dreams. <laughs> and lost <laughs> dreams. <laughs> True that. That's normally, that's normally <laughs> what you find in those old casinos, the souls of lost dreams. <laughs> so. Funny. So um, <clears throat> if you haven't had a chance today to remember uh, what happened, it's also a day to remember all the lives that were lost in trying to rescue people. To this day, we are still losing uh, first responders who had to breathe in all the chemicals. And the other thing you have to remember is they were not just breathing in dust and they were not just bringing chemicals. They were breathing in human remains as well. And there are a lot of complications when that happens. Um, <clears throat> so we are still losing people because of hate. Take a minute and reflect and think if if you are one of those people who hates other people just because they have a different ideal from you, is it really worth it? Is it really worth all the energy you have to put into hating somebody? But don't you think the people that really feel that way about hate don't give a flying fuck and regardless and just like whatever I hate you because some and are, that's there. I've noticed uh, here in America when I when I meet somebody who hates some other group of people, it's indoctrined. It's indoctrinated into them. They have no right. feelings about it whatsoever, yeah. unless until it personally affects them somehow. Like their best friend is gay, or yeah. you know they find out that uh, the person that they've been hanging out with for the past <clears throat> five years actually comes from another country or is a different religion or something. Mm. Until it affects them personally, it's just something that is in their yeah. world. I was sharing this morning with a friend 
talking about how innocent children are, like what you brought up, that I didn't know color. I came home and asked my mom what this derogatory word was, and she's like, where did you hear that? I said, well, so-and-so called that to so-and-so on the playground. For me, we don't ever say that word. And it was regardless, regarding a Hispanic person. And I went, but, and to even make it more innocent on me, I go, and mom, his back wasn't wet at all. So I don't know why he did it. And I mean, with so much love and innocence, like that just didn't make any sense why he would say that his back was wet and blah, blah. Two, yeah. two years ago, when we started all this bullshit with this fucking administration, my son asked me what racism was. I had to explain racism to my mm. lily white kid. And I had to explain to him, some people hate other people because the color of their skin is different from them. Like black people and Hispanic people and Asian people. And he goes, mom, they're not black, they're brown. And I'm like, I get it. <laughs> he always wants to right. correct me on that. They're not black, yeah. mom, they're brown. I'm like, yes, they're all shades of chocolate. And, <laughs> and he was like, but why? Why do they hate them? And I'm like, I can't tell you that, kid. And you'll never grow up to hate people because of the color of their skin because yeah. there's no reason to. And he yeah. he just did not understand racism. Yeah, because he was not indoctrinated in it. Yeah, oh. he just he just didn't understand that. We watched that silly movie with Christina Ricci, Penelope, where she's born with a little pig nose, right? And everybody thinks she's hideous and ugly. He didn't get it. He oh. didn't understand why everyone. Th- he was like, "That's a cute nose," and I'm like, "I know, I would love to have a nose like that." Oh. And he was just like, he just didn't get it. He does not, and that's how I know motherfuckers that racism is wrong <laughs> because if, through the mouths of babes because if kids who've never been exposed to it are not racist that means racism is not a natural thing it's not natural for you to be a dick it's not natural for you to hate anyone for any reason unless they took your motherfucking food and then you kill that bitch and take your food back that's, that's it that's why I brought so, it. So, <laughs> what else we got? I'll stab else? you for a tater tot. What else we got? Uh, Butt food? sacks off the table right this moment, but. <laughs> food. Food. Uh, Fernie, whenever she visits us, always brings us delicious, delicious stuff. And I'm looking forward to cake. Cake has got to be one of the most beautiful words ever. I'm sorry. I think the word fern is a beautiful <laughs> word. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, like right up there. Come on now. We all know it. I happen to think hot meat is beautiful. <laughs> yes. There is that. Okay. I, I bow to hot meat. So Tater okay. tot is not so bad either. <laughs> you okay? She's thinking about hot meat. I know. What's hot meat? Oh, we're good. We're good. <laughs> so many connotations for hot I, meat, right? I know, just, right? I, I'm going to share this story from the car. Did you fart over there? Is that why you were waving no, your I hand around? Oh, oh uh, God. I thought you were just yeah. dispersing the odiferousness. <laughs> Uh, sorry, you're just at that age. I never know what it, it could be. <laughs> it's hard, but... <laughs> Believe me, you'll know. Uh-huh. All right, so what else we got? Story from the car, what? Oh, I was just saying in the car. <laughs> I thought it was funny. But, uh, oh, no, he had a go. He really had a fire. He, he warned us he's going to be in and out all night. <laughs> okay. That's a turd in, honk. He's going to be right away. in and out all, all night. night. <laughs> call out, like, behind the studio. Lord can only hope. Right. In the car. So, in, in the, the car. car. What did then, I say that was funny this time? No, about the, um, they're going to jizz on our... Oh. <laughs> so, I stop at Sonic every Tuesday. Uh, this is a shameless plug. They do not pay us. But, in case you didn't know, cheeseburgers are half off at Sonic on Tuesday nights. So we get cheeseburgers on Tuesday nights for dinner. Uh, y'all think it's Taco Tuesday up in this bitch? It's not. It's Sonic Tuesday. <laughs> um, and I am also, and I am very, very nice to these people. Because this Sorry. order is huge. I order for the whole studio. It's a huge, complicated order because she don't like pickles. And she don't eat onions with mushrooms. And Sonic uh, lettuce makes me shit my pants. So <laughs> all the burgers are different. I can't just say, give me four cheeseburgers. Because it's not how it works. Every single one of them is literally a different order. Plus, sometimes I want a pretzel twist. Sometimes I want mozzarella sticks. Like, but here's what she does: she pulls up, and I, I mean, I'm, we're very similar in these regards. And she's like, "I'm going to have a very long and complicated order. Are you prepared to take it?" <laughs> <laughs> well, because at first, I, I saw a car. We we pulled up just as a car was making it to the window, and so I know that there's only one person at Sonic who takes drive-through orders, and 
hands the orders out the window. It's just one person. Please don't overwhelm that poor little teenager or the older person whose 401k got totally smashed in the decline and has no money to retire on, so they have to work at Sonic. So <laughs> I knew that he was in the middle of handing out an order and taking payment for an order while taking my order. And as soon as we pulled up, he was like, welcome to Sonic, can I take your order? And I know immediately I have to warn these bitches. Yeah. And I don't know why. It's the same Sonic. We've been going there for nearly a year <laughs> to the same Sonic. You would think at some point one of them would turn to another one and go, on Tuesday nights, there are these two fat bitches who roll through here and order a shit ton of food, and it's a complicated motherfucking order, so just be prepared. So I always say, I have a long and complicated order that has multiple levels to it. Are you ready to take my order? 100% of the time, they say, give me just a second. Yep. 100% <laughs> of the time. That's the name of the show, by the way. Hashtag, are you prepared to take it? Are you prepared to take it? So we, um, yeah. We, it's, yeah. Are you prepared to take it? I did say that, didn't I? And then I'm always super nice to them because I don't want jizz in my sauce. Right. <laughs> because I have already just fucked their really easy Tuesday night up because there's almost no one in line on Tuesday nights, even though it's half price cheeseburgers. What is wrong with you people? <laughs> And I just took them from it being nice, easy Tuesday. They had like maybe two or three orders during the dinner rush. And I just made this giant, long, complicated order. I am going to be nice as a motherfucker in this order. And they still fucked that shit up and pissed me off. <laughs> I was also for a giant bag because they want to shove four burgers, oh, yeah. Wait, three she tater tots. She's, she's like... And I'm wondering what you were doing. Like, did you drop something? Did you forget something? And she's, she just turns and she goes, I need to tell them how to pack the order. <laughs> because otherwise they try to shove all this food into one a fucking bag. And I usually ask for the big handle bag, but they've been out the last couple of weeks. And so then I was like, can you spread it out over a couple of bags? Spread because it out. Yeah, we, can we have to go up. Because <laughs> we have to go up a set of stairs and we have to carry this food. This is why we don't get to sit and marry each other. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. It's <laughs> Can you take it? Spread it out. <laughs> Are you prepared to take it? Spread it out and don't put jizz in my sauce. Put it in my mouth. Like that I cat. did oh. offer if they jizz on your burger. To eat my bur jizzy oh my God, burger. I'll take that one. She won't eat mayo, but she'll put jizz on her burger. And not that we... So now you know it's Sonic Tuesdays up in here, but yeah. we don't discount the tacos. We still love the tacos. Right. Yeah, there were many a night when Alexia brought me home and we... I had to go to a Del Taco, which was <laughs> 10 minutes. I was so Because sick. on Tuesday, Del <laughs> Tacos are three yeah. for like a buck 29. Oh, oh, yeah, baby. Dude. It, I've never been back since. Mm -hmm. She Yeah, she, she couldn't eat. She oh my can't God. eat the Del Tacos. We're sitting in the car eating, talking, laughing. I had a really great time. And all of a sudden, you hear. And I went. <laughs> you got to do that close to the mic. Oh, it was. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked at her with fear. Like, I'm not going to make it out of this car. I never... Never mind. I, just, I made it. You should have seen the joy on my face. My face completely lit up when I saw on Facebook the advertisement for the Taco Festival. There is a Taco Festival here in Vegas. I know. Taco truck. Posted festival. on the wall. I always save that one just because. I'm almost never able to go to those we things. We should totally do like a live yeah. right? on our from phone there. show It's from probably going to be on the 29th. And we got like 85,000 things to do on the 29th. True, true. Um, really quick, so while we're texting, and I, I can't read all of them because I didn't even ask her if I could share this, but I have a friend who is sending me messages, <laughs> and literally the like one of the messages, <laughs> we're talking about super serious stuff, and I get one that says he eats my pussy like it's his last meal, <laughs> and I'm like, how I, can I? How can she I? She and like, I must know the same guy. I've known a guy can, like that. How can I? <laughs> You can't continue the serious conversation. I can't conversation continue, after no. That. And that's why for a while I just kind of sat here, like, just looking down. I'm like, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> Does he have a friend? Got a brother? Got a. Yeah. <laughs> I always wonder about those guys. Ooh, Samantha says there's also a sangria festival. What? Whoa. I'm not a fan of sangria. So I, I like sangria. Is there alcohol like, in it? Yes. yes. No, yeah. <laughs> there's festivals for everything. There which is, is kind of awesome. And this is like the season for them. They all start now because it's getting cooler. Because it's cooler. Because it's not 85,000. We live three miles from the surface of the sun. Just so you know, that's where we live. It's hot as balls from April to October around here. It's fucking hot. 
I have been totally stressed out the last two days because I've been trying to get a particular project to launch and we had one final um, inspection to get this project to launch and it was today and I was 100% certain we weren't going to make it because just shit was in disarray but we finally made it but one of the things that happened was yesterday I was driving around town with my boss buying shelves and shit um, and he did not know that we had a Greek food festival or an Italian food festival or an Armenian food festival or none. Like he didn't know any of that. And I was like, boss, how do you not know these things? There's a, there, how do you, how do you not know about the Hawaiian food festival? How do you not know that Las Vegas is called the ninth Island? Like we had this whole yeah. conversation and he was like, I don't know any of these things. I'm like, you spend too much time traveling. You need to stay home, <laughs> Frank, and you need to, uh, you just need to eat the food here. And so he's like, well, when are all these festivals? So my ass is up on Facebook while he's driving around and we're spending his money to buy shit. And I'm like, well, it's on this day and it's at this time. And it's." And then I realized if I went to all of these festivals, that's all I would do every weekend from now until like June. It's just food <laughs> festivals. Because it's, it's all the way through winter. There's like two weeks when it's really cold and we don't do anything in Vegas. We put coats on for two weeks. You know. And then... Well, in my house, I don't. I didn't turn the heat on once last summer. Just so you know, not once or winter. Yeah. Well, I didn't turn it on last summer, of course, but I didn't turn the heat on <laughs> at all. Well, I have told everyone who lives in my home, we don't turn the heat on unless the dogs start complaining about how cold it is. <laughs> the, the dogs are the barometer for the house. Right? <laughs> They're not gonna say shit because your one dog is ginormous. He's like a small dinosaur. He is a big dog. And your other dog, um, Swiper, is <laughs> like a fat wiener dog. Yeah. Like and he's he just, got his own coat on. He and burrows. He buries. Yeah. He burrows. Yeah, he burrows in. And so he, he's sad. He ain't going to bitch about anything. But he does have his own puffer jacket, too. Oh, well. Because oh, when he was gosh. younger and skinnier, I don't know if his puffer jacket will fit him anymore, but when he was younger and skinnier, he would get cold easier. Yeah. So um, his previous owner, who happened to be my mother, bought him a puffer coat. And so he has a puffer coat. I My um, chihuahua had a Snuggie. Because so, yeah. he would get very cold. We just, uh, for the first time ever, this wiener dog is almost 12 years old. And for the first time ever, we bought his Halloween costume. We get costumes for the dogs every year. Um, three years ago, when we first adopted who is now our dinosaur dog, he was the same size as our wiener dog. And so they wore matching Halloween costumes. They were dinosaurs. This year, the what wiener you, dog. This year, you just paint his nose a different color. And, like, you'll know he's a dinosaur. <laughs> yeah. Maybe this, put some, like, But he was the same mask. size as the wiener dog when we first adopted him. There's no way. <laughs> yeah, he was the There's exact no same way. size. So I think my cats are super princesses because they get cold really easy. And they come and scratch at me to get yeah. under the covers with yeah. me. My, my dogs, they don't know. The wiener dog will go find a blanket to burrow himself under. I've caught him in. I have a basket of blankets in my living room. And some last winter, I caught him, like, sleeping kind of inside the basket because he just jumped in there and burrowed into the blankets. <laughs> yeah. I usually leave in the wintertime a blanket out on the couch for him. And the big dog, yeah, he is not affected by the cold at all. Yeah. <laughs> I had a cat. Um, I recently had to uh, put her to sleep. But she's 18. Um, and she was, like, super duper old. <laughs> And uh, she was the best cat in the whole wide world, but she was, she would get very, very cold. And so she was constantly like the cat that was on your feet, not because she was trying to warm you, but she was trying to like suck in some of your warmth. <laughs> and she would need blankets and stuff to like climb into as well. Yeah. Are you so. not a pet person, Fernie? Do you have oh, a- why she have Mr. Pet. Ziggy? Yeah, I'm, I'll bore you with pictures later. Okay. But yeah, I'm, I love all I am. I was... Um, a mama cat uh, girl but then I have uh, I used to foster cats too because I just love all babies my niece just recently started with one hairless guinea pig now has two they have hairless guinea pigs they do not on purpose yes these, what, what does these, that mean they're they're honest to goodness they're hairless. Bred to they're be hairless. bred hairless unfortunately yeah hmm. anyway she went what, from having two. why is that unfortunate well because i think they should have hair because they look really ugly. But are they hair, to be hair hairless is how they hair is how they keep warm i i, I know that oh, they, until like, my but niece, was there i mean oh. were they bred that way or was it a breed that they just like the hairless cats yeah i don't I think, think it's, they were bred that way i think that's just the way they are okay. they're, right they're bred to be hairless oh damn it yeah there, like there are breeds now that are hairless cats, but they weren't like that for always. They were uh, bred into becoming hairless. Yeah. I like my animals all natural. Me too. Me well, too. to them now, they're 
naturally hairless. And so she now has six girls and they were all like sisters and she just couldn't do one without the other because they were together. So my sister's looking at her like, okay, we have six now. So then she's like, but Aunt Fernie and I mean, uh, and uh, Aunt Crystal are gonna make us crochet sweaters for them. She even <laughs> sent us the pattern and colors for these girls. So I, th- I, I don't know if it's because I'm getting old, but there are things that really bother me. Like when people talk about how they want to get a dog and they talk about specific breeds. And I'm mm. like, just go to the fucking pound! Right. I just want to scream at yeah. these people, right? Yeah. Rescue. Yeah. I, I mean, why does it need to be that goddamn breed that you're going to spend five, eight hundred thousand dollars on? So here's yeah. the thing. You don't even, if you want a specific breed, you don't have to go to a breeder to get them. You don't. About nine times out of ten, you're going to find that bitch at the pound. Yeah. And if you can't find them at the pound, Google that breed's name, Rescue, and your city, yeah. and you will find at least one but if you live in a city like this, probably five rescues in yeah. your town, and they are always looking for adopters. Yeah. And then the second thing that's been bothering me a lot lately, and that's because there is a truck parked in my neighborhood, and I see it now every time I drive down this particular street, and it just drives me crazy. When you're on the internet now, do you get pop-ups for sex spots anymore? I request pop-ups but for sex. But that doesn't stuff. happen as a norm anymore, right? No, no. Unless no. you're working some old-ass internet or explorer. Or if you're, if you're on a site specific. Yeah, like if you're on a porn site and you're flipping porn. If you're on a porn, porn site, yeah. yes. But on your when you're regular Google searching for, you know, uh, fettuccine Alfredo, you're not gonna. You're not gonna get porn. Fetish Chino anymore. Alfredo. <laughs> so I've gotten used to the new internet where porn is not everywhere until I specifically go to X Hamster once a week, like I normally do, right? But I'm driving down the street, and there is one of those trucks parked on the side of the road. That's a billboard truck, and oh. it says "Hot Girls," and then there's a phone number, and I'm like. Motherfucker! Right. Like I don't need porn What's in my neighborhood number? to just pop up <laughs> anywhere. So it's seven oh two. So that's um that's kind of Vegas specific, of but, course. But, but not. But it hasn't been for quite a while, and I think I've noticed that. No, it, it has. You haven't noticed it because you don't go to the places where it normally is. Right. Right. The likelihood is is the guy who drives that truck lives in your neighborhood. Probably. Mm-hmm. No. And he it's ran It's not home for parked something. at a house. It's not. It's parked in a desert lot. Oh. Wow. And I am just so mad about I, is that. Is it there every day? It's been there every day for the well, last week. Well, it could. I mean, he still could live by there and then leave his car there and do that and work. How come I'm not getting these messages? It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I would, um, I mean, that would bother me only because there's kids in the neighborhood. Like, I expect to see that shit on the strip. On the strip, um, yes. You, I mean, you get the I guys know, handing you flyers right, and stuff. I know that when my daughter was younger and... You know, I would take her on the strip. We always made her, um, her dad would hold one hand, I'd hold the other, and we're like, put your eyes down to the ground and don't look at anything. (laughs) And, you know, we'd, like, walk her out of a casino. And then one time, um, I guess they they were, we were at, um, what's the circus? Oh, Circus Circus. Circus Circus. And so you don't expect it coming out of Circus Circus because, you know, it's like fucking clowns or stupid shit. And it's so like we Excalibur. did our usual. Yeah, we're like, put your head down and walk, and you know, we'll help you through. We we don't we didn't say it that mean, but and <laughs> of course this time they were littered on the ground. Oh no! Not being handed out, they were littered on the ground, and she's like, "What's these?" And I'm like, "Fuck!" Like for years now, we've tried to you know shield get us yeah. yeah shield her from like seeing the fucking nudie cards, you know. Meanwhile, I'm just like, does it show any nipple? Now we're good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But, you know, it was a little different when my daughter was a little girl. I mean, now she's a teenager, and, you know, now I'm probably, if if it happened now, I'd probably be like, hey, can you go get me that number? Because <laughs> I do those things because it embarrasses the fuck out of her. <laughs> and she can't believe that her mom is, like, so open about sex stuff, whereas she's like, no, Mom, no, we, no, we don't have to have that discussion. Nope, we're good, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> so. I'm like, do you have hair on your dick? Mom. <laughs> Stop. And then the last thing that's been bothering me is uh, I'm I'm a very judgmental person. Yes. Are you? No. What? I don't know Come what. on. I keep my judgmentalness among my closest friends. Okay, yes. Okay. But not to herself. <laughs> I, I, I'm not, I don't spread it. I'm, I'm not preachy. You don't spread it. I'm not preachy out there in the public. I'm right. not judgmental out there in the public. Yes, she is. 
No, no, not to the public. Listen, you have resting judgmental face. I do. But I, I can always tell because she can be sitting there. She'd be like, Mm-mm. "That's true." It's 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 you getting can tell on my. If you're not loving it's, something. It's getting on my nerves lately that uh, a few friends of mine, uh, really close friends, people I really love, no, not you, are becoming super preachy in their posts on Facebook and Instagram, um. right? Where they go, "Live your best life," or, uh, "Oh my God, it's just, uh, just." Oh my God! It's just pissing me off. <laughs> you, don't, like, you don't like the inspirational quotes, they're, so but they're not. I, they're quotes to tell you how to live, right? <sighs> if if uh, what's what's one? Uh, let's see. Oh, if if those people don't make time for you, then oh, okay. uh, the, then they don't matter or whatever. And I'm like, fuck. Maybe they're Jesus busy. Christ. Okay, so those ones I ignore because I'm like. Whatever, because I'm usually the one who's on the opposite okay, end. Like I'm so the one who usually <laughs> I ignore them too. But yeah. when a friend of mine's name pops up as posting it, I go, Ugh. I'm just the dis my judgmental disappointment, like just shows all over my face. And she's had to endure me every now and then coming over to her, and the first thing I say out of my mouth is, "Can you believe what blah 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 is posting?" <laughs> uh. Is We're that why you never? Anymore. Is that why you never respond to anything that I post? <laughs> my uh, my pet peeve is when it is people who are clearly not taking their own advice. Um, <clears throat> when they post all over the place, like um, you shouldn't care what others think, you shouldn't let other people run your life, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that, and then. You know, you sit down and have coffee with them, and they're like, oh, my God, like, so I'm super upset about this thing that this other person did. And I'm like, why are you letting them affect you? Didn't you just post a meme about how you shouldn't let other people affect right? your personality? Like, what's yeah. going on with that? The hypocrisy. Yeah. Yeah. What's up with that? Yeah. Sorry, uh, we lost our Facebook feed there for a second. Um, uh, but we're back now. Uh, you're going to have to go find a new video. Yeah, we're back. Yeah. We're back. Did Facebook freeze for everyone? Oh, look, everybody was like so into our stuff. I love it when that happened. Yeah. <laughs> and it might have just frozen again. Or no, no, you're on the wrong. You need to go to the new video. Yeah. Okay. There will be a new video. Can you help me? <laughs> sure. Sue had helped me last time. She actually helped me get it to my Anyway, wallet. I don't know what it is, but lately it's Thank just you. a whole bunch of stuff has been bothering me lately. That means you're getting old. Either that or I'm, Get off I'm my actually lawn. finally going through menopause or something like that. Oh, God. <laughs> oh you turned on Bixby. No. Yes. Yeah, I just did. Oh. You pushed the dreaded fucking Bixby button. What is this? Did you get a? Did you get hot girls pop up? Later. <laughs> I don't want to see your naked photos, honey. <laughs> I mean, I do, but I just not now. We're in the middle of the show. <laughs> All right. Uh, the only way I know how to turn off Bixby is uh, uh, to turn off your. No, you don't. Have I to. have to restart my phone because when I do later, Way no, go. it wants me to sign in and all this bullshit. I'm okay. So what else are we going to talk yeah. about? So just to go back, I I get what you're talking about with like the judgy kind of memes. Like you should do this, you should do Stop that. Stop telling me but how to live. My like I'm a meme whore. <laughs> I love memes. And I love memes, but I'm also an inspirational quote whore. <laughs> Let's just, out, we'll just sum it up to <laughs> that word. But um, you don't post inspirational quotes. I save them all. You do. <laughs> and there's a big difference. If they're, there if they're inspirational to you, by all means, utilize them, right? right? My posts the last couple of days have been like, how much stress can a human being possibly take? <laughs> yes. Yeah. My life is full of nightmares. But that's how I told you. That's how my Tumblr porn got fucked up because I started seeing <laughs> like I was looking at kitten stuff and inspirational quotes, and the next thing you know, it's like dick, 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 kitten, <laughs> dick, 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 live your best life. <laughs> so Tumblr is definitely trying to get out of being in the Tumblr porn business. All my Tumblr is is porn, but now they're suggesting a bunch of other Tumblrs to me. So I have to scroll through like five pages of oh, you like this one hand-drawn comic thing and I'm like but it's dicks um, <laughs> and, and they'll be like you would like this funny one or you would like this adorable one or you would like this one about little kids and I'm like no I just want to see dicks like and vaginas and <laughs> boobs and this? cum shots and oh it's leaking out of her butt like that's what I want to see I don't want to see because right now it's like it's like comic strip comic strip comic strip inspirational quote Star Trek meme dick and I'm like <laughs> Well, it's all relevant, but I really only here to see the dicks. 
I have a separate porn tumbler from my regular tumbler, which is usually art and calligraphy and witchy stuff and all that stuff. Uh, and lots of Star Trek. Lots of Star Trek. Um, I only that have sounds Tumblr amazing. Porn. And yeah. on my on my porn Tumblr, <laughs> I allowed Vendetta from our audience to uh, be Follow. my friend, and I had to delete him as a friend because he would post his regular stuff. Um, and I don't think he ever posted porn. So I would be scrolling <laughs> through dicks and vaginas and cum shots. And then all of a sudden there would be, you know, a little girl with ears <laughs> and comic, you know, comic porn. I'm like, it's very jarring. You like cream pie, cream pie. <laughs> yeah. You're just like eating pussy, eating pussy, eating pussy, dick, 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 comic strip. <laughs> oh, it's a good one. I missed it. I was almost at that point where I could start masturbating. <laughs> So really quick, speaking of uh, speaking of masturbating, oh no, porn. Sorry. Okay, <laughs> um, I'm sharing this one because I know how much you love this topic. <sighs> this is Sierra's favorite topic, and the only time I've ever Do seen never, her get disgusted. Never Google this. Um, a French seaside town has banned swimming at its beaches after a lonely, sexually frustrated dolphin. Um, began making passes at bathers. Wildlife oh, experts yeah. say that the lustful male mammal, nicknamed Zafar, is in heat. But with no female dolphins around, Zafar has taken to rubbing up against swimmers and kayaks in the water off Lender Vinnickschlockenspiel. I don't know that town. I've, Mayor, I've known guys have bashes like this dolphin. They just wander similar. around the pool. <laughs> Start rubbing up against rubbing people. Rubbing up against you. Mayor Roger Lar said he had no choice but to bar swimming in the area. The amorous dolphin blocked one female swimmer from returning to shore and even lifted up a woman bather out of the water with his snout. Me too. Like, have you not heard of the Me Too movement? <laughs> Zafar, come on. Get with it. Uh, Jesus. Spell, spell Zafar. Z-A-F-A-R. Yeah, Z-A-F-A-R. I can't even. Dolphins I have to stop. Love. My friend is still texting me. Dolphins need love, I'm saying. Yeah, but they don't need human love. Go find some more dolphin love, man. Well, y you have to think. Dolphins are some of the loveliest creatures on the planet. How is it that this dolphin cannot get other dolphin love? He must have been such no, a goddamn badass dolphin. dolphin. <laughs> He's an asshole dolphin. Like He, he was wears, such a dick. He, like... He still goes tanning. He has a flat brim cap. He has, yeah, <laughs> that he keeps the sticker on. Yeah. You know, he wears sneakers like he stands in line for brand new sneakers that are coming out. Like, he's kind of a douche dolphin. <laughs> what, Clearly, what he he's harassing women at the beach. <laughs> I mean, how low does it get? You're fucking humping kayaks. Like, stop. Just go dolphin masturbate. That, I think that's what he was trying to do up against the kayak. Mm. Can he masturbate on a kayak? Probably. I, I can. I could masturbate on a kayak. <laughs> I know I could. <laughs> Let's all try. Who has a kayak? <laughs> Sin City Bounty would like to broadcast live from your kayak. And it just, it'd be a bunch of... And pictures of the ocean. Yeah. yeah, we'd like to broadcast live from your kayak for science. Yes. <laughs> Unless you can kayak in rivers. Can you kayak in rivers? Because we're kind of land bound here, yeah, right? Yeah, no, you can kayak in rivers. <laughs> okay. I can't, can I can't kayak, kayak any. I have to kayak on dry land, though, because I get seasick really yeah, easy. Yeah, I have to kayak in a backyard pool. <laughs> because, like, rivers, there's shit in there. Like, Fish poop. Fish and stuff. No. Turtle poop. People poop. No. People poop. People shit. People dump You do the know that the water that you use to boil your spaghetti that comes out of the tap probably has fish poop and pe people poop oh in it, see right? that would be yeah, why i they, have an extra filtration system in my house yeah and they limit the amount of like poop that's allowed to be in your water there's also an assuring just so you know there's also an acceptable level of jet fuel in our tap water there is yeah i didn't know and there was like an acceptable food, level of jet fuel but apparently like in, there is in canned food there's an acceptable level of like rat shit <laughs> like up to so much rat feces so, there's an acceptable level of spider legs and chocolate yeah, so as long as Bush Beans, like, keeps their <laughs> rat shit, like, to a, a minimum, they're well, good. The fuck out of that. They're good. Nom, nom, oh, nom, someone nom. said, just tuned in with masturbating dolphins. Yes. I mean, that's that's a good point to, like, hop on. <laughs> Welcome Not to the, the show. Not masturbating dolphin, but. Welcome to the show. That's how we roll. <laughs>
<laughs> we encourage dolphin. <laughs> when was that story from? Do you? Um, it was in a, a Reader's Digest, a current Reader's Digest. Okay. Yeah, I read it on Probably Facebook a couple days ago. <laughs> yeah, it's so recent. It's, it's just circling the uh, the globe, but it's a the Reader's nuts. Digest thing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we only have a few minutes left. What else? Um, I want to do. I can't say the name. Uh, but I want to do Penis. a thank a thank you shout McDonald's. out <laughs> oh, sorry. to uh, somebody donated to the show, not through Patreon, because we do have a PayPal one-time only donation oh, button oh. on our website. And so I want to say thank you. Uh, I don't believe they want their name uh, spoken, so I won't say it. But thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And uh, we totally appreciate it. We'll probably use it to drink a lot at the Crave Party coming up um, in October. That we're all going to. Yes. Maybe. Maybe. Yes. What it's happened, all, Toxie? It's all planned, right? Nothing happened over here. Nothing. Don't look. Keep Nothing, Nothing happened. happened. <laughs> Toxie is currently uh, sucking jizz out of my giant penis end that's way <laughs> over there. Wait, let me put my hand on the back of her head. <laughs> that's how I like it. Right uh, William says, so many images from my time in the Navy just popped into my head. Uh, and this, we're talking about dolphin <laughs> uh, Eric says jet fuel gets you moving Okay. now you're cooking with gas and Neshoba says spider legs and chocolate oh yeah there's spiders, ants, all kinds of yeah, there, animal feces there is if you look up the uh, it's listed as protein well it, there's a lot of if you go to the federal I think it's on the FDA website there might be another federal website but there are acceptable levels of certain amounts of things in all of your food there's acceptable levels of uh, insect parts in all of your food, acceptable levels of rat feces inside your food, because it is virtually impossible to keep it out of your food. So, every time you eat a bar of chocolate, you're probably in jet. You, the average adult, I think, eats like seven whole spiders in their lifetime. When, well, I, I, I saw an article once where while you're sleeping, you eat an average of three in your lifetime just from sleeping and then you, blah, 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 chomping. <laughs> <laughs> Eat all the spiders you choose, baby. <laughs> all right. So uh, our one time, if you want to just one time uh, give us a donation to help support us, that would be great. You can do that from our website. Or I highly recommend you become a Patreon sponsor um, over on the Patreon website where you can sign up for as little as $5. a dollar oh, a month. A month. But if you do $5 a month, what do you get? Super Secret Facebook group. That's right. You get entry into our Super Secret Facebook group where Toxie likes to post all of her bathroom selfies. Drunk bathroom Ew. selfies. Drunk bathroom selfies. Oh my and God. sometimes I remember to post shit in there, too. I have one that I want to post where it looks like I have boobs. <laughs> post it. <laughs> I'll post it right after the show. <laughs> after I clean up this jizz that... Eric <laughs> says, spiders, sure. the other white meat. <laughs> Amy says, whoa. Amy says, you should see what got by at the Heinz factory. Frogs, no. snakes, no. grasshoppers. Ew. You. You. It, you. Not I ew. Was, you. I think she may have meant you oh. and not you, <laughs> but it's spelled like a female sheep. I'm thinking there's sheep. In my ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> it's not red from tomatoes. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Mo, our our favorite comedian, Mo, says, hey, Mo. it's a myth about spiders in your sleep. Is it now? And that's why I don't open those articles. Yeah, <laughs> I don't open them either. Because I don't need to know that I'm eating spiders in my I've sleep. eaten a grasshopper on purpose. And you know what they taste like? Potato Chicken. chips. Oh. <laughs> they taste like potato chips. Mine tastes like chocolate because they were covered in chocolate at the top. Mine was a sea salt and vinegar uh, cricket. I ate I've it. I've eaten ants, chocolate covered ants. I've eaten, I will tell you. I'm Asian, so you know what Asians you eat? Chicken feet. Like a ton of shit. I, I don't eat chicken feet. I have eaten them, okay. but I don't like them. Right. But my mom came home one day from the uh, Laos store that's here, the one that we love here in Las Vegas on Bonanza and Main Street. Um, and she brought home a bag of snails. And she steamed them up in a colander on the stove and then plop, put them in a bowl. And we just sat there. I swear to God, it was like popcorn. You pick up a snail and you go... <laughs> Toss the snail casing. It's like fucking edamame. It was <laughs> the best. Yeah. It was so, so good. But were they chewy like um, abalone? No. 
They're not rubber bandy. Nope. Is abalone the meatballs? No, abalone is okay. comes in a shell like this, and then they pound it out so it won't be so. Uh, They're rubbery. also highly illegal now. Uh-oh. Yeah. Okay. All right, everybody. Amazing. I'm Alexia. I'm Sierra. This is Toxie. I'm Fern. <laughs> and we will see you next week. If you're brave enough. Later, Later bitches! bitches. <laughs>